Welcome back to Grandma Olivia's Corner. Today I'll be reading The Great Pet Escape by Victoria Jameson. This is a chapter book, so I'm going to read chapters one, two, and three. Three months, two weeks, and one day. That's how long I've been stuck in this terrible prison, otherwise known as a second grade classroom. I was captured along with my friends, Barry and Biter. I haven't seen them in months. We're being held in separate cells. Barry, one, two, three, four, three. Biter, one, two, three, four, four. Me, GW, one, two, three, four, five. My woolly jailers have made it impossible for me to escape. Mm. I've been staying busy though. I have to keep my strength up because someday and someday soon I'm breaking out of this joint. Chapter one. <clears throat> All right, class, who would like to feed George Washington today? Me, me. Yes, my full name is George Washington. Go on, laugh it up. Despite the cruelty of my jailers, I've learned how to play the part of cute classroom pet. That way, they won't suspect a thing. Ah, how sweet, he's burying his seed. Look, now he's burying an old ribbon and that broken pencil. What do you think he does with all that stuff? What do I do with all this stuff? I'll tell you. I take it deep underground through the high security channel and into my secret laboratory in the wall behind my cage. Before I was locked up, I was the greatest inventor this side of Dallas. Name GW, AKA George Washington. Species, hamster. Crimes, inventor of the sunflower seed slingshot and the rodent catapult transportation device. But prison can't stop me. I am now building my greatest invention ever. The Harry Houdini Escapomatic. I just have to locate the final missing piece and I'll be free, patent pending. Ring. Have a nice evening, everyone. See you tomorrow. Here's an extra sunflower seed for you. I know how much you like them. These jailers may act nice, but I'm on their game. Good night, George Washington. Clink, clink. Hark, what is that sound? Could it be the final missing piece for the escapomatic? Mmm, gotcha. Quick, the laboratory. At last. My Harry Houdini Escapomatic is finished. I am the greatest genius the world has ever seen. Now, how do I get it upstairs? Hmm. Chapter two. With a little creative thinking, the Escapomatic was finally ready for action. Starting zone, accelerator tunnel, escape hatch, Ruler, spring. Just in case you can't see, he found a, bag, a hairpin. Knit cap, check. Safety goggles, check. And go. Step one, gain speed in accelerator tunnel. Step two, hit ruler, activating marble drop. Step three, Land on spring to reach top of exercise wheel. Step four, scissors cut balloon string and hamster grabs balloon. Step five, use bobby pin to open lock door. I'm free! Now to find Barry and Biter and get the heck out of here. Chapter three. Barry and I go way back. 
We've done a lot of time together. He's got a rap sheet as long as his ears. Name, Barry. Species, Bunny. Crimes, Bunny, Sunny, Funny, Punny. Oh, crimes. Good heavens, I thought you said rhymes. I couldn't wait to see Barry's face when I set him free. Soon we'd be romping through the fields together, just like old times. I kept my ears to the ground, so I knew that Barry was being held in cell block one. It looked even worse than I'd feared. Welcome to first grade. Barry is so good to Barry. GW, goodness gracious me, long time no see. Yeah, that tends to happen when you're in prison. Listen, I've come to set you free. Hmm, really? Oh, okay, sure. Let me just put this bookmark in. Now I'll tuck in Winkin, Blinkin, and Todd. Those are toys, Barry. Are you feeling all right? Barry was acting very weird. Had he gone soft in prison? Now stand back. Ugh. Nice to see you, GW, old pal. Okay, okay, enough of that. Now we just need to find Ryder, and we'll have the old gang back together. The furry friends, remember? Sure, sure, the furry friends, I remember. Follow me, I think I know where to find her. Ryder was the toughest, biggest, baddest guinea pig on the planet. Once we found her, everything would be back to normal. Name, biter, species, guinea pig, crimes. Do you ever have another sheet of paper? Remember that time Biter, biter punched a raccoon with a trash can lid? Ha ha, my favorite was when she gave the mother of all wedgies to that 10 pile possum. Barry was leading me deep into Daisy P. Fullerhorn Elementary School. The hallway was starting to seriously creep me out. Are you sure we're headed in the right direction? Look, GW, there's something you should know. It's about Biter. Barry has this habit of pulling on his ears when he's nervous. What are you not telling me, Barry? You know how Biter was a bit of a um, tough case when she came in? Well, I don't know exactly how to tell you this, but they put her... Uh, I can't say it. I just can't. Boneyard biter, I'll say she is something of a tough case. Barry, pull yourself together. Where is she? She's, she's doing hard time in the worst cell block in this place. Her jailers torture her nearly all the time with stupid songs and crazy behavior. Yes, I'm afraid I have to, to do it. Biter is it, biter is in kindergarten. You don't, oh my gosh. We're gonna find out what happens in chapter four next time. So stay tuned. Join me on Grandma Olivia's Corner on Monday.